Hello, I tried to give you about 400 minutes on sharpening, which is really hard to do. Most of my videos have been uh, very encouraging remarks on them and good feedback, so encourage me to try to continue. There's a lot of ways to sharpen, a lot of good ways to sharpen. Everything I do is cheap, so this is a cheap method. It's four steps. Grinding, straightening, and stropping. What's happening is the knife blade comes to a V. Sometimes it gets dull because it's blunt. You literally need to grind it back flat again. Sometimes it's dull because it's bent. Not blunt, but bent to one side or the other. You need to straighten it. Now these are some homemade knives. I like to make knives. I'm not an expert, but I like Scandinavian style knives. Carbon steel knives made from big old files, which is another video for another day. Various methods and heat treating and so forth to get a good knife. My knives have a single flat bevel, so they're especially easy to sharpen, but this method will work with any any of the knives out there just about. This is a work knife I use right here at the bench. Extremely useful, made out of a circular saw blade. What you do you could get expensive stones. Water stones are good. I have some. You can get ceramic stones. Spend a lot of money. Don't spend the money on them. At most, buy a two-sided Norton stone for $15. It's a good investment. But you don't even need that. You can take this, put some mineral oil. I like baby oil. And do your grinding. I do that a lot. I like this tool. I use it a lot. But I also use these probably more often. Strips of black wet dry paper spray glued to a stick. You develop your form. Keep your thumb out of the way. I have a cut now from being careless. And grind your edge. If it needs grinding. Then proceed to this tool. You draw it over the tool five to eight times. You're supposed to do it off the edge of a of a table. Five to eight times will start to straighten the edge and it'll begin to get sharp. Then go to a croc stick. This was about a fifteen dollar set of croc sticks. They have smaller ones that are cheaper. Use good form. Twenty to forty licks. Equal number of licks. Unless you get imbalanced then you may have to experiment with a few more on one side. Use increasingly lighter pressure. You will begin to get shaving sharp. Very sharp. For absolutely wicked sharp, try stropping. Make yourself a dollar, two dollars. Piece of leather, fuzzy side up, glued to a board. I like to make them pretty. I like a certain size, about ten inches by two and a half. Get some white compound. Lowe's or other hardware stores. Pretty easy to find. This is the white for hard polishing, light polishing hard metals. You charge this up periodically. This will last a long time, years. Then you just use backward strokes, pressing the bevel nice and flat and pretty. Backward strokes so you begin to see a mirror finish. You can get it even more mirror finish with the green. Charge it up, same technique. Last, this stuff will last a long time. And you can begin to get a mirror finish. Very, very sharp, well, crazy sharp edge. Just, just shaves the, the hair. It's a good method. Another day we'll make a video on knife making. They make nice gifts. Good, heavy, sturdy knives. I like hidden fang knives and full fang knives both. And uh, I've had better success with these knives, better cutting edges, better better everything than my store-bought knives. So they're well worth the effort. You need a good fixed blade knife. Be safe. Have a good day.